All right, I am three classes. Uh, today we are talking about law of cosine. So, um, like we did last time, law of sines. Uh, it's a it's a different method to um, to use to find missing side lengths or angles of non right triangles. Um, the difference between law of sines and law of cosines is uh, what information you have about the triangle that you're trying to find the missing side. So depending on what you know about the triangle, like if the angles and side lengths determines which um, law you use, either law of sines or law of cosines. So with the law of sines yesterday, one of the last um, lesson, you needed to know an angle measure and the side across from it, right? Um, to find missing side lengths. So you set up these uh, ratios, these proportions. The law of cosines, um, you need uh, the, the, it's a little bit more complicated. It looks kind of crazy. Um, if you look at it closely, it's real similar to the, the Pythagorean theorem, the, the A squareds and B squareds and all that. Um, and it looks crazy. It looks like it might be hard, but really all it is is entering stuff into a calculator, putting the information in the right spot. So there's two forms, the standard form you use to find side lengths. So if I wanted to find a side length, I would, I would use standard form. Um, the alternative form used to find angle measures, all right? Um, and honestly, you could do both. The alternative form is just a little bit of algebra to turn the, the, the standard form into the alternative form. There's solving for the cosine is all it is. Um, so it's again, it's just entering stuff into a calculator is really um, how to do it. Uh, you don't need to have these memorized. That's a lot to memorize. Um, but what you do need to know is uh, how and when to use them. Uh, so for this, what I want to point out is, um, so if you're trying to find side A, right, little a, that's side length there right down here. What we need to know are the two other side lengths, right? So we need to know the two other side lengths and the angle across from it to find that. And so that's gonna be true uh, for everything. So to find um, like side B, all right? Find side B, you would need to know side length A and side length C and the angle across from B. So it's, it's finding that other stuff. Um, same thing if you're looking for the angle. Uh, actually, it doesn't matter um, the angle. Whatever angle you're looking for, you are going to be uh, using all the different side lengths. That's all it is. So if you're looking for the angle, you need to know all three sides. If you're looking for side length, you need to know the other two side lengths and the angle across from it. So uh, let's do an example. So starting off, we are trying to find BC. BC with this B, it's across from A. So we need to find little a. So I'm going to write out the law of cosines here. So A squared is equal to the other two side lengths. B squared plus C squared minus 2BC times the cosine of A. We'll put a little dot there to separate the little C and cosine. So we just need to put in the <clears throat> everything into the appropriate spot. Um, so A is what we we're trying to find. So we're going to leave A is A. Uh, B is across from angle B, C is across from angle C. So it's going to be uh, eight squared plus six squared minus two times uh, eight times six times the cosine of uh, 128. And so, like I said, from here, all it is, is putting it into a calculator, eight squared plus six squared. Um, I guess I'll do it 
in steps so we can see everything. So eight squared plus six squared, so that's 64 plus 36 minus two times eight times six, two times eight times six, so that's a 96 times the cosine of 128. Uh, A squared, so this is gonna be 64 plus 36 is 100, minus 96 times uh, the cosine of 128. What the heck? Um, okay, yeah. uh, cosine of one twenty eight times uh, times ninety six. So that's actually comes out to a negative. So it's going to be negative fifty nine point one zero. So one hundred minus negative fifty nine point one zero. The minus negative becomes plus. So this is. Uh, 159.10. So again, be careful with the minus the negative becomes plus. And then uh, the last step is just to take the square root of both sides. So the square root of uh, 159.10 square root is 12.61. Approximately, so A is 12.61. Again, it's just putting it in the calculator. You don't need to go step by step. You can just put that all into a calculator. Um, that's what I'll do on the next one. I just wanted to show each step so we're not messing anything up um, so you can see how it all works out. But this next one, I'm going to do a little bit quicker. Um, I'm not going to put everything into the calculator, or I'm just going to put it all in the calculator at once. So it's going to be, uh, I'm looking for AC. It's across from angle B. So this is going to be side B. So I'm looking for B. So the law of cosines is B squared is equal to A squared plus C squared minus two times AC times the cosine of B. So just put this information in. So A, it's 21. This is A. This is C. So it's going to be B squared is equal to um, 21 squared plus 25 squared minus two times 21 times 25 times the cosine of 100. Uh, so just multiply all that out in a calculator. So put it all in. So it's going to be 21 squared plus 25 squared minus two times 21 times 25 times the cosine of 100. That all comes out to 1,248.33. Then, Last step, take the square root of both sides. So square root comes out to 35.33. So again, it's just a matter of putting that all into a calculator. All right. Uh, let's do another example. We're going to skip. Oh, perfect. Um, so here we're going to do it to find the angle measure, all right? So we are looking for uh, C, all right? So we, we are going to do cosine of C is this angle here. So it's going to be cosine of C is equal to, um, it's going to be, so this is the A, this is the B, and this is the side length C. Uh, you're going to do a squared plus b squared minus the side across, so minus c squared uh, all over 2 times a b. So um, 
you remember this the angle you're looking for that's the the side length that is subtracted the, the side across from it is the one that's subtracted so um i'm going to fill in the information so cosine of c is equal to a which is 23 squared plus b which is 17.9 squared minus c which is 18.9 squared all over uh, two times 23 times 17.9. So we need to put that all into a calculator. So let's, um, we're gonna do the top. So 23 squared plus 17.9 squared minus 18.9 squared. That all comes out to 492.2 on top. Over two times twenty three times seventeen point nine, uh, eighty eight twenty three point four. So cosine of C is equal to so four ninety two point two divided by uh, eight twenty three point four is uh, 0 0.598 rounded. And then the last step to solve for C, you're going to take the inverse cosine of both sides. And that comes out to 53.29 rounded. So that cancels out. So C, it's 53.29. All right. Let's, um, one more example. Uh, so here we're going to try to find angle C. All right. So we actually have to do law of cosines twice. All right. So we're trying to find this angle here. Um, to find the angle using law of cosines, we need to know. Um, all the side lengths. Since we don't have this side length first, uh, I need to find this side length. This side length is across from angle B, so that's B. This is side length C, this is side length A. So I have to find B first. And then once I know B, I can use, I can find angle C. Um, and actually you have options to find angle C at that point, because once we know B, we can use law of signs to find C, or we'll just stick with law of cosines. Um, okay, starting off, we gotta find B first. So B squared is equal to um, the other two side lengths, A squared plus C squared minus two times the other two side lengths times the cosine of the angle. So, B squared is equal to 30 squared plus 18 squared minus two times 30 times 18 times the cosine of 98. All right, so B squared, uh, I'm just gonna put all that into a calculator. So 30 squared, plus 18 squared minus two times 30 times 18 times the cosine of 98 um, comes out to 1,374.31 out of 1,374.31. And then last step, take the square root of both sides. So that's going to be uh, B is equal to uh, 37.07. So 37.07 for this side length here. So now I have enough information to find uh, angle, the angle C. I just need enough space. Okay. Um, 
Let's go down here. So now I'm going to do the cosine of C, which is what we're trying to find, is equal to, so remember it's uh, the two side lengths next to it. So 30, um, it's going to be A squared plus B squared minus the side length across from it all over uh, two times the, the adjacent side lengths. So I'm gonna plug in some information here. So cosine of C is equal to 30 squared plus 37.07 squared minus 18 squared over two times uh, 30 times 37.07. So just work this out in the calculator. So 30 squared plus 37.07 squared minus 18 squared is uh, 1950.18. That's over two times 30 times two times 30 times 37.07 is 22, 2,224.2. So 1950.18 divided by 2224.2 comes out to uh, 0 0.877 rounded. And then the last step is to take the inverse cosine to solve for C. So a longer problem is you had to do law of cosines twice. Anyway, it comes out to 28.74. And there we are done. All right, and that'll do it for this unit.